Tried Kina. Let's try a different one. Press escape. Reload the game. <laughs> it loads pretty quick. This is on a computer. This is not on a Raspberry Pi. Whoop! Didn't want to do that. And my computer is pretty quick. But I think as long as you have you know a decent computer, you should be able to run this game no problem. You have eight characters to choose from. It is two player. I'm gonna play a couple characters, and then at the end of the video, we're gonna. See how you can get this on your computer, get it all set up, get it working. It's not as easy as uh, you think. And uh, I haven't seen somebody that just give you like how to do it. Like everyone gives you little pieces, like, oh, you gotta go get this. Oh, don't forget to get this. But nobody gives you like, okay, one, step one, step two, step three. So we'll be doing that after this video. It's pretty badass. So as you can see, good sound. Good characters. Evidently, this game was like all the way done, pretty much, and but it never was released. So it was like an unofficial. But the original was really cool. I mean, I would I would put it like a lot of people thought of it similar to you know uh, Mortal Kombat or even um, Killer Instinct, for example. Okay, that's that guy. Let's try another guy. So you've got Zhao, Eric, Kina, I can't even, Mel, Melissa, Kina, Shank, Sinjin, Kays, Tor. Shank. Shank. This guy, I feel like, well, that guy has a lead pipe and I have a, a mace or whatever. Uh, that makes sense for who my character is. So each character has its own. Dinosaur inner soul. I happen to be. Oh, he's wrecking me. Oh, I thought I had him there. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. I'm sure there's like combos and things like that, but it's funny. I was recording before this, and I did like a couple different fatalities, <laughs> and now I can't do any. Okay, that's another character. I should probably check out this intro though.
Look at that spike. Get wrecked, dude. He's a little spitter. That sword, though. Come at me, bro. Easily done. You can also mess with these people. In the original game, you could. You can, like, these little humans on the ground when they come out, like that guy right there. Like these guys right here. Look at them. You can mess. Yeah, I just, uh. There we go. All right, so what files do you need? I'm gonna put links to all these places, but first this dude made a Weebly um, website and uh, he has main for Rage 2 emulator. You go down the bottom here, you have three files. You have 0 .001, 0 .002, 0 .003. Go ahead and download all three of those. You're then gonna extract it. Uh, later, but that's going to be your main operating system for this game. He does not give you the actual game, so now you have to go download the game. An easy way to go download the game is go to a website like Emmy Paradise, go to ROMs, ISOs, and games. You're going to click on MAME because it's a MAME ROM, and then you're going to go over to P for Primal Rage, and then you got to go sort through this list until you get to Primal Rage, P. R, you get lots of pop-ups and stuff, but there we go, PRM Primal Rage 2, version 0.36a, there it is right there. Now, there's two files here. I know we just clicked on one link, but there's actually two files for Primal Rage. You have the zip file, which is the actual game, and then you have something called, the, some people call it the CHD or the CHAD file, and as you can see there, it's 558 megabytes. And this is basically um, a hard drive file, basically, and this has most of the information on it. So you do need both of these files, this one here and that one there. So, so far, we're up to three different files. You got this one, this one, and that one. And then the last one you do need, you need this as well. This is where a lot of people mess up and they're like, why doesn't this work? Is you need an Atari PSX ROM. So uh, I'll put a link in the description to this here. But basically, I just Googled Atari PSX ROM or I bin, binged it because this is a Microsoft thing. And then the first one took me here, and then uh, I'll put a link in the description, but it's just a 124 kilobyte file. So here we are, and uh, there's the Atari PSX BIOS file. Then we have the three main, the actual program that runs it. All you do want to do is click the first one, and then sevens it, open archive. And then all these, you want to extract all this stuff here. Um, once you extract all that stuff, it should look something like this, okay? Next thing you want to take your ROM and your CHD file, go ahead and just copy it. You don't need to extract the ROM. You also don't need to extract the Atari. Let's take all three of these, go to Extracted, go to ROMs, and as you can see, I've already added them here, but let's just, let me just delete everything here so we start from new. Okay, so yours should look something like this, and then you drag them all over. You do need to make a little separate folder here called Prime Rage 2 and then let's go ahead and transfer our CHD there and now we're all set up. So we have the, the, the ROM here, we have the CHD file in its own little folder and make sure the spelling is exactly correct and then we have our Atari PSX file there. So let's go back and then I'm on a 64-bit system here so I just double click this here and uh, it'll load, this isn't going to work with the image capturing device I'm looking at, but I can tell you right now that if you do all these things, um, it'll work. Those are all the steps you need to do. You click this, don't click this, click this. They have 32-bit system, you click that, and then uh, you just load the ROM. My Xbox 360 controller was auto-detected, auto-configured. You can also just use your keyboard if you do not have a controller as well. I hope you like this video. If you could, please give it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you like what I do. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.